All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Undisputed video. Another request coming in from... This one's coming in from Jay Coxie. And he wants to see... Carl Frotch against Cal Zaggy. Didn't I... Uh, did, I think we did this fight recently. I think it was the other way around. So we got an 86... Frotch there. You can have a pause of that. Joe's 90 for Joe. Actually enjoyed using uh, Joe in that video. That was uh, trying to learn a bit of Southpaw. He plays nicely. I like how he how he plays. Uh, did did Jay specify an arena? Let me just double check. All right, he didn't. So I'm gonna what shall I pick that I haven't picked for a while. Uh, tell you what, I'll go, go Magna for this one. Undisputed on the uh, difficulty, uh, 1.5 on the damage as usual. I had to just, I had to just alt tab out there just to check uh, some of my notes on my desktop. Just when the when the comments come here, so the requests come in, I have them like on a little uh, Here we are, getting ready little text document on my desktop there. I hope one. I've not just fucked the recording up when I alt tab down me, out, out of the game. Unbelievable, the fans. Carl, the Cobra Frotch, a super middleweight, multi-time world champion. It's no wonder they call him the pride of Wales, Joe Calzaghe, a two-weight world champion who was never beaten. A legendary battle with Roy Jones Jr. as well. It's going to take something special to knock this man off his perch. This is going to be an intense stare-off before the fight starts. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner, introducing from Nottingham, England, a super middleweight champion of the world, Carl the Cobra Frotch. Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the renowned unified world champion with a remarkable undefeated career, introducing the two division champion of the world and boxing's pride of Wales, please welcome Joe, the Italian Dragon, Calzaghi. So much hype surrounding this big matchup. Can't wait to see what goes down when the opening bell rings. Thought all I can say, heaven on earth, heaven on earth. So much hype surrounding this fight, and now it is go time. Really did get Frotch's likeness sound, I think, there. These athletes have been waiting a long He's got a time YouTube channel now, I believe, hasn't he? Um, he's doing quite well. I don't watch it all that much, but I've seen it pop up on like my YouTube feed. When I'm watching like MMA interviews and stuff like that, I get a lot of boxing stuff popping up. And his channel's been coming up on my feed. Like, he's a little bit slow with that combo. Like, like his right straight is a little bit slow. He missed with that jab. I've said a few times the on the vids, I'm not like a regular watcher of, uh, of boxing, so like, fighters that are I don't tend to play, made for the big I don't try to emulate the, right the style that of the fighter, fighter, right fighter that I'm using, right so I don't know how Frosh boxed, you know what I mean? I've only seen like highlights ages ago, you know? but like, I don't know him well enough to know like his little tendencies and stuff like that, you know what I mean? I try and emulate it in the game, so just kind of, dude, this is my style. That's why every video ends up looking the fucking same, because this is my style, like, how I, I tend to play these games like I'd, I'd like, spar, you know, like if I was really sparring, like I would have done, like, a bit of time in the past and a bit of MMA sparring, and I tend to just try and do that in the game. Oh, oh, beautiful left up right straight. That was a fast right straight. That came out there. Fucking hell. And he just misses with that jab. Oh, like a double counter flash off that one. Oh, that's just throwing hammers in the pocket there. 
left hand lands. You couldn't write a script like this. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. I do hope we get some like uh, like mid round replays, like in these little sequences here. Like I'd rather see replays rather than, or like maybe they can intersplice a bit of a replay in between, sort of like the UFC five uh, uh, UFC uh, games do, just to see some like significant strikes that landed between rounds. That'd be nice, you know, with the option to skip them if you want. Like. Fighter told us yesterday if he oh, doesn't God, win by knockout, he doesn't consider it. Unloading a little bit. Look at him. Oh, vicious power shot to deliver it. Tactics out of the window. These guys just want to. Oh, I'm getting fucking pieced up a little bit. And he misses with that jab. And Joe is going for that body. So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Terrorized him into not wanting to throw a punch because they don't even see the shot leaving. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap, just like a match made in heaven. What was going on with Carl's? Oh, beautiful lead uppercut there from Joe. Oh, and a right up to the body. Wow, that impact was incredible. Let's take another look at it. Nice punch there. That uppercut was nice. Struggling to use Frotch a little bit, like it. I'm not quite settled in with him yet. Still hurts, look. I'm gonna recover by the time he gets there. I need to be on the outside a bit more. I'm trying to stay on the inside and maybe counter his his body shots a little bit too much and I'm paying for it. Like when I'm guessing wrong about blocking. Let's talk about Brach. He is cut though on his right side there. And there's the bell for round three. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, in, that round, you know this round like coming out? animations he's are like... getting everything, everything. Pretty, uh, all bow because I know he's... I don't know if he's the only one that does it like this, that, if that's like unique to it. Happen. It's, uh, it's noticeably different. Very, very surprised. Even just the stance, like, you know, the way he's throwing his punches. He misses with that jab. And Fucking hell, Joe. Jesus. Has he got somewhere to be, mate? Oh, and a vicious shot up top. I'm just focusing on defending the body. The end, but here we go again. Back into the fire. Oh, he's on the outside now. Stop going in close. Nice exchange here from both men. Oh, he's took too much punishment. Good counter oh. punching for both these athletes. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. This has been a very competitive round between these two. Let me try and get that cut a bit well, you've got two damaged on that side. Fighters in this weight class, it sometimes comes down to who's in better condition. Look back in the history book. Some of the best fighters in the world were the middleweights. Yes, the glamour division is the heavyweights, we know. But I'm telling you now, you look right there. These guys are on it. Fast, sharp, powerful. Oh, I thought he was going to the body again. Imagine that being you. They're the size of an average man. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Pummel on that body. Well, we know they've got the advantage. 
On to the fourth we go. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. They both want a knockout, you can tell. They both want a highlight reel knockout. Oh, so many shots got through there. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? It's the one who draws. Oh. And they're oh. down. <laughs> just when you thought it could be. I went get for the kill worse. there. Wow, that impact was incredible. Let's oh, take no. another look at it. Nice left hook over the top. I think I'm taking an L here. I've got probably... I'll get up this time, but... Well, I'm, I fucking hope so. Anyway. I don't think I'll survive another one. I don't know if the southpaw stance is giving me a bit of trouble. I don't know what it is. Point, These the body shots are just getting through. I'm doing a terrible job of blocking them. That left counter was perfectly timed. Insane oh. action! I'm trying it. Oh. And now they're right back into the fray. He misses with that jab. Looking for that pull counter when he misses with body shots. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. So much for boxing. He's this making adjustments here. But it's too late. Oh. Waiting for this. So, final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. What a hard body shot. Let's talk about Frost. Without a doubt, took that round. He's been knocked down, but at least not. Look at the shit beating out of us there. On to the fifth we go. Let's see he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a he's got a block. Just missed with the uppercut. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. And he just missed with that left jab. Do you believe what we're seeing? Too far out. A little bit, little bit scared to commit. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Because you've got a good a chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still nice. get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Don't get trigger happy. Because all of a sudden Joe's you get AI is actually pretty uh, to get that shot. And that's when they catch you. Give me some problems. Trying to land that jab. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Ah. Let's talk about Frost. Well, no, didn't get knocked down that time. And there's the bell to start round six. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Don't, I don't want to do that step, that step back, left hook at the end of that combo. I'll keep because I'm pulling backwards because I don't want to get it. 
it's when doing the step back puncher, left up instead of the, with how let the many plant your feet one. You it's about how many you land and how hard they are. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Should be stood there like that. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? That left-handed jab doesn't quite score. I don't know if I'm taking more damage as well when I'm sort of blocking my body and like Tracking leaning backwards. Both men in this round. I don't know if that's Swing a thing in this game. But... Perfectly matched. Skill for Ooh. skill. Tap for tap. Now this I mean, he hit me in the head there, but it's... Just that, not that put me body you. health in so the red. I've got to respect both of them more than that. That was, might have been from an earlier shot, maybe. I don't know. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there toe to toe with them and have a terror. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. Body there and they'll get so angry. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Let's talk about Brock. Come on, There's the bell to start round seven. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? Oh, just out of range with that and right straight. To score with that left hook. Some nice damage in there. Oh, but so did he. It doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. Nice counter shot. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. It doesn't always pay to be first. It pays oh. to be last. Took that off the cut hard. This fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. Throws the jab, but it doesn't score. They've got to use their jab better in this fight. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Oh, punches. was a hard of a cut. I don't know if I can keep this Let's up for the duration of the fight to that try and get a decision. A round. Complete dominance. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop him. That cut is opening up, though. It's, bunch, uh, it's gone to like an amber now. And there's the bell for round eight. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. That one will count. What a punch! He blocks the right hook.
Some nice exchanges. Paid for that fucking pivot there. For to do a pivot. Like step off. Are not an issue Tough for the spider damage. who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Oh, walk onto that power shot to the body, and he misses with the left uppercut. A swing and a miss with that jab. That counter shot land. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Nice counter. Full counter left hooks. Let's talk about Brock. Two of them at the end there. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. Both fighters starting to get tired as we start round nine. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Missing with that jab. I just make him gas doing this. How do they use the spider's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Nice counter punch. Oh, nice jab there. Both men step back for just a moment. Just missed with the upper cut. I don't know why the left off didn't, didn't come out there. I threw it, but not happen. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walked right through? I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. That one lands. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Oh, I was really open for that, that knockdown there at the end. But I didn't want to go too aggressive. In case I got clipped. This is the tent. Can they seal the deal in this round after what we saw just a minute ago? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything worked. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Stop doing that back step left hook. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch. They want to There we go again. That back they don't want to stay stand and They want to punch straight through you. That's it. You've got to be careful. Can they figure out the combination to this save? Oh, hard liver shot from Joe. Miss with that jab. Oh, the hard right uppercut. You couldn't write a script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. Oh, well, why didn't block that? Just take a step back. Neither one of these fighters want to see the judges' scorecards. Not a lot of defense here at all. Uh, 
Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Oh, I went for the uppercut there, but he slipped. Nice little slip to his right. Let's talk about Brock. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that. Let's start 11. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his I've got a feeling I'm going to get knocked out in the 12th. Let's see it happen with like 10 seconds to go or some shit. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Fantastic punch. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He's landing then. Power body shots like that. Nice idea with the jab, but does not land. Cannot throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You'll get knocked out. Why sit in the pocket when you're punch? What's the referee thinking right now? Oh, try to pressure him there. It's like a game of joust. They both got their sword. Let's talk about Brock. They've got the momentum. They've got the advantage. How do they carry? And there's the bell to start round 12. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Oh. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. He can't afford to make one single minor mistake. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Oh, I'm going to top with that. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this that can seriously hurt you? Nice job landing that left counter punch. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many. Joe Calzone oh! is on the canvas. Beautiful pull counter left hook. That's the first time I think. Oh, I've been gifted a knockdown like that. That was well deserved, I think. Finally, we get like a flash knockdown. That looked really nice as well. Look at that. Fuck off. Oh, I think that's my best knockout, I think, so far. I've done in the game. Let's get on that side. Tries for the left uppercut. Bang. Fuck off. Beautiful. So it can happen in the game. Finally, I, I, like a deserved one has happened on camera as well. So the, it can be done. It is there. Maybe that was totally random. I don't know. I doubt it though. It felt like he threw a power shot there, and I, I was I countered him like early. He was like a good. He hadn't even like come to the end of his animation yet. Make it up, and this fight continues. Oh, but look at Joe, he's not going down without a fight. This would be terrible to throw this away at this point. Can't find a home for that jab. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. Yeah. 
No surprise there. A unanimous decision. Okay, we got it. You know, that, skills, that's that was looking shaky there early on. What I was getting the shit beat out of me. Two knockdowns to the body. Let's make that adjustment there. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made it much further. I enjoyed that one. That was... I was locked in for that. Fucking hell. Thanks very much for that, Jay Coxie. I really appreciate that request, mate. I hope you've enjoyed it. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one.